Okay, let's go ahead and start designing the wheel. Now the wheel looks something like this. We have three different auxiliary views of the part. We have a cross section cut up here. And usually when given a cross section of a part, we want to start by drawing that out. Now there are a number of fillets on it, but to start, I'm gonna do this sketch as simple as possible. So my sketch is gonna be that cross section minus all of the arcs and the curves. It's going to look something like, whoops, like this. And because there is a gap in the center because of this hole over here, I'm also going to be drawing out a line somewhere over here. And right now, if I just wanted to show you what's going to happen if I finished a sketch, if I revolved this cross section along this axis, you can kind of see that we can instantly make kind of like the wheel that we're, we're trying to go for. But there's still some work to do. There are no dimensions here. So let's go ahead and get those on. Okay. So what do we know about this? We know the overall thickness is 0.25 and half of it is 0.125. So let's get some dimensions in here. 0.25, here to here will be 0.125. And let's see if this is also 0.25. It is, so I'm not gonna dimension that again. I know that from the very end of this part to the center of the circle is one inch. And I say the very end, even though it's not the very end, where that little plus is, because over here, what I'm gonna do at the end is draw a circle. And actually, let me draw the circle in now. Uh, it's gonna be a circle with a diameter of 0.25, such that it matches the part. If it's a 0.25 diameter, this is kind of the shape of this. And I know that's 0.25 because the radius is 1.25. So I just doubled that and I'm using it as a circle in Inventor. Okay, so dimensioning from the center of that circle to this line, as we said, it's going to be one inch. Now it moved the line, at least for me, further than I wanted it to be. So I'm going to kind of adjust this a little kind of flipped around on me, but I guess that's fine. What else are we going to do? We are going to dimension this 0.75 from the bottom, where it just starts to turn to the center, and we're also going to do 0.25 for the foot to the center. So from here to here, it's going to be 0.75, and then from here so here is going to be 0.25. Okay. We still don't know how much this gap is, but we do know if there's a gap and we revolve it, that's going to make a circle. So we just need to see what is the diameter of this circle. And on this sketch down here, we have a radi or a diameter actually of 0.280. So if we're only doing half of it and revolving it, then it's going to be 0.14. Let me go ahead and dimension that. It's 0.14. And that's starting to look like the wheel. Now we have to fill up these four corners over here. According to this sketch, these have no dimensions on them. But this one does, and it's 0 0.0625. And then it says the letters that we need to see in order to know what the other ones are, typical, or TYP. That means all four of these undefined arcs are going to be 0 0.0625. I'm going to go back here, use the fillet tool, type in 0 0.0625, and just kind of go through, clicking on the lines and creating the arcs, like so. So that's looking pretty good. I'm going to trim this half of the circle, if it lets me, but the dimensions are getting in the way, so I'm going to delete that one and trim it now. Trim this, trim this. 
Okay. Um, I can delete the one. Let's see if it lets me. Okay. So this is the overall part. It looks like it's supposed to, so I have confidence in this part. And I'm going to finish this sketch and then use the revolve tool to revolve it around the center axis and hit OK. So that's the first part of the wheel. The next thing we need to do is add in these, uh, these pizza slices over here. And all we know about these is that they are supposed to be 30 degrees apart, and then they're supposed to be 30 degrees together. So there's a number of ways we can do this. Uh, something else I want to point out is that if I drew a circle, there's like circles over here, but they've kind of trimmed off a good portion of the circle. But that's supposed to be a circle if you can kind of imagine it. And up here there's also, or at least there was at one point, a circle. And these circles, they give us the radius. So those are two circles, and if we incorporate that, that's actually going to help us make the design a lot faster. Back in Inventor, I'm going to start a sketch on this surface, this flat surface. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw some lines from the center. And kind of like a clock, there's one line, there's a second line, and there's a third line. And I can keep going if I'd like, but I'm not. I'm just going to draw these three lines. I know the dimension is 15 degrees for the first, and then 30 degrees for the second. And the TYP indicates that they're all going to be 30 degrees. So let me dimension from here to here. Let's just say 15. And dimension from here to here. Make this 30. And then let's draw in the two circles. It's going to be the first circle. This will be the second one. These circles have different diameters. Whoops. The first one is going to be 0.75. So 0.75, twice that, and this one's going to be 1.25. So let's get those dimensions in place. 0.75 and 1.25. So you can kind of see this slice over here. This is what I want. I'm going to use the, let's use the trim tool, I guess see if I can trim these off. Okay, so I've trimmed it up so I have like one slice here. I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to extrude that out, kind of cut it into the shape. And then I'm going to use a circular pattern. Click on this and I'm going to use the rotation axes of the wheel. Anything on the wheel will actually work. And I'm going to spin it six more times or five more times so that I have five patterns, hit OK, and now I have the six cuts of the wheel, just like that. And it matches the picture, so I know it's good. Last but not least, we need to add in this for the linkage arm. It's just a series of cylinders, and they're all extruded at different levels, and actually this is probably the best view of those cylinders. So let's go ahead, and it looks like it's what? One, two, three different cylinders. So I'm going to start a sketch on this surface. It's kind of in between two of the, uh, the pizza slice things. So I'm going to go probably draw a line it's like over here. And I'm going to project this line. Let's see if that will actually let me. I don't think it's going to let me dimension the way I want to. But let's find out. Actually, it did. Perfect. 15 degrees. So I'm going to build it over here. And it's a series of three circles. So this is my first circle. And I need to know how far it is from the center of the part. So let me see if I can find anything that will be useful. This over here. So this is 0.7 from the center to the center. So if I know that, 
I can dimension it and I'm going to just go from the center, the circle, to the center of this part, but my dimension's the wrong way. I need it to kind of align with that line. So I'm going to right click and go to aligned. And now my dimension has been aligned. So I can click, type in point 0.7, hit enter. And that's correct. Except that it did, it kind of dislodged the line from the center. So that's a problem. What we can do then is use project geometry, click on the center of the circle, and then we can use the coincident constraint up here. And I'm going to click at the point of the line, followed by the point of the center of the circle. And it's going to realign it so that this fits. Now, you might notice right away that it's kind of in the middle of the wheel. That's perfectly normal. If you want to see the circle better, just press F7 on your keyboard and you will see it better. So that's the first circle. We have two more. This will be the second one and this will be the third one. Let's go ahead and dimension these. The largest circle has a diameter of 0.25 followed by 0.125 followed by 0 0.0625. So 0 0.25, 0 0.125, 0 0.0625, like that. I'm going to finish the sketch, and now we have to extrude them out. So the first circle gets extruded out 0.375, the second one gets extruded out 0.125 plus probably the original 0.375. So let's start with the first one, extrude. Let me just do, yeah, the first circle, 0.375. Okay. I'm gonna share my sketch, right click visibility, go for the second circle, extrude, the second one. So it's gonna be 0.375 plus the additional 0.125 indicated over here. And then last is, let me hit okay. That actually looks fine and you could probably leave it like that, but I'm just gonna do the last one as well. Uh, I'm gonna extrude that out. So it's at the same level, but according to this, we're gonna like cut it 0.25. So it's going to be this plus this minus 0.25 and hit OK. I'm going to hide the sketch. And yeah, there you go. So this is the wheel. And you're going to use four of these in your train, but that completes its construction. So hopefully you found this useful. I will see you later. Peace.